Good morning, Auburn Senior Class of 2021. It's Mr. Gardner with my very last video to help you guys along for graduation. Okay, today is Monday, June 7th. Uh, most of you are probably still in bed right now. It's 7 a.m. This is the week before the week before the big day. Um, I've got about five or six slides to take you through, probably a little more information than you need. But hang on to this, okay? Because you probably want to look at this, you know, Friday night or Saturday morning before it's time for the time. Okay, I click my camera off. I'll start scrolling through the PowerPoint. Okay, just wanted to kind of recap our cap decorating. You guys know you can do that. Regalia, you guys know cultural regalia. We do not um, supply that. We don't sell it. And we talked in the last video about, you know, the Latinx... Uh, uh, serapes, which is kind of a sash or a stole, Native American uh, beaded adornments, eagle feathers, and a cedar cap, okay? And for our Black African American students, uh, we have the kente cloth, and hopefully you guys were able to find some of these things and get your hands on them because they're beautiful. And then for our uh, Pacific Islander students, um, flowered lays and they also have different types of uh, sashes and stoles in all kinds of different uh, pacific islander um, patterns so anyway all of those are a go and then we know that we're only going to get four tickets for the stadium we know that we're going to have a professionally live stream event it's going to be on the auburn high school facebook page so that will be made available to those who can't come into the stadium and really what this video is about is our graduation uh, practice. So we're gonna move along. We know that when you do pick up your tickets starting this week on Thursday, so if you're a hybrid A student, you'll be here. Um, if you're doing in person, you can pick them up in the ticket booth uh, activities uh, office. Just start doing that like at your lunches. And if you're hybrid B, you can do it on Friday. If you are totally online, um, you may come to the school take care of that. Just know that the school is open between, I think, 9.30 and 3.30. So just heads up on that. When you walk away from the ticketing booth or as you get your tickets from Miss Skeel, make sure you check all four tickets. Make sure they only have one section represented, okay? You should only have tickets for the Northwest section or the Southwest or the Northeast or the Southeast, okay? Very important. Okay, again, if you're someone coming in off campus or if you're sending your parents or guardian, they're gonna go to the main office first, they have to check in there, and then they're gonna head out to, into the school and you'll go to the activities office, which is just to the left after you walk out of the main office. Okay, graduation practice. Graduation practice is only for the senior students, okay? Nobody else is gonna be able to come into the baseball field um, your four guests can begin entering, begin entering at 5 p.m. at Memorial Stadium. We want our students to show up for grad practice at 4.30. So if you are being dropped off by a parent or family member, they'll drop you off by 4.30. If you want to come a few minutes early, that should be fine, but don't come too early. Um, we won't be ready. That'll give them about a half hour, or they can just go park somewhere and hang out. Hopefully the weather's nice and they can start getting in line at Memorial Stadium um, and they can start entering at five. Going back to the tickets, if they have tickets for the west side, northwest or southwest, they're gonna wanna enter through the home ticket booth. And if for their east side, northeast and southeast, they'll go to the visitor or east side. Okay, practice needs for seniors. Bring your Chromebooks, charger, case, or $5 to purchase them. If you've already taken care of that, awesome. Don't worry about that part, okay? Um, we're going to do a collection probably right before you walk into the stadium. If the weather's nice, we'll probably just have some tables out there. And uh, you can either bring $5 with you or you can bring your equipment and turn it back in. Okay. Make sure you have your mask, your cap, your gown, your tassel, your stole, and any cultural regalia you might be bringing with you. Honor cords may also be picked up at the concession stand area. That's within the baseball field. Most of you have already picked that up, I'm sure, okay? But we have, a, we have a new honor cord that's coming out of our CTE department. I think there's about 60 of you that will receive that. I know they're going to have an event prior, but I think their event might be virtual, so we may be handing them out on graduation practice day. So be looking for those. 
And if you forget, trust me, someone's going to call your name out when we're practicing and they'll get it to you. We're also going to do a purse and backpack check-ins at the concession stand. Do this when you arrive. We'll have all kinds of adults to help you out with that. So if you forget, um, we'll make sure you get that taken care of. Restrooms are going to be open at the concession stands. And we're going to make sure they're open because we're planning on warm weather. We'll make sure we have lots of bottled water out on the baseball field because we're going to be sitting out there for about an hour. Okay, uh, practice, practice. You will receive instructions for the ceremony once you're seated. I would imagine we'll get seated around 445 once we take care of all the other incidentals. And I'm really going to ask you guys to be in the moment, really pay attention to whoever the voice is and walking you through or talking you through the way the ceremony is going to go. And just be really present, okay? It's going to be hard because you can have a lot of friends around you. We will be seated six by six. We'll have that six-foot spacing just like we're going to have in the stadium. But once uh, myself or Mr. Bird get talking, really do your best to pay attention. Uh, eventually, we'll walk out of the baseball field. We'll walk in single-file lines. We're going to go um, by our parking lot. We're going to walk out to the sidewalk, which is on the south side of 4th Street, Bob Jones Way. We're going to walk all the way down the parking lot on the pool side of the school, I guess you could say. And... Uh, We'll cross down at the corner, walk through Veterans Park. And of course there's pavement in there and there's also grass. Uh, ladies, uh, heels are flats. I'd probably go with flats. Um, you can bring both. It's not that tough to hide them underneath your chair, um, but just really think smart. But you know, if, if, you, if you're able to walk with uh, heels, if it's not wet outside, I would imagine you'll be fine because it's not gonna be a fast walk. Everyone will follow their southeast, northeast, southwest, northwest section captain and stay in single file lines. And that's going to be one of our counselors who's going to lead your section. Senior speakers, um, you're going to find out who you are this week. Um, you'll be seated near the front of your respective seating sections. So once we know what section you're in, we won't know that until you receive your tickets. And then you let us know on that day at 4 30 at practice and we're going to make sure that you sit near the front you don't have to be in the front row but in the first couple rows so when we do call your name when it's time for you to give your speech you don't have very far to walk okay um, at 5 50 we need to start our walk over to the stadium i would imagine everyone will be there not seated yet but ready to start marching in to get seated at about six o'clock 605 so that we can start pretty close to on time Okay, um, this is the practice setting situation from, you know, a couple hundred feet above. Um, you see the entry to the baseball field and the green line, green arrow. And before you walk in um, is when you'll be buying your uh, Chromebook or dropping it off. If you've already taken care of that, don't worry about it. You don't have to worry about that. Once you're in, um, you, you're going to see like where the yellow arrow is. That's kind of taking you. That gate will be open. You can go over here to the concession stands. Somewhere around there, we'll have the cords, the honor cords for those who earn those available. And then also, if you want to check in your purse or backpack or anything you brought with you, car keys, whatever the case may be, um, that's fine. Cell phones, no, I don't need to collect your cell phones, but I, we will be reminded to turn the sound off. Okay, just keep them on vibrate. All right, you guys hang on to your phones. You're all young adults. You can manage your phone during a one hour ceremony, for goodness sake. Some schools take their students' phones and, you know, we just don't want to do that. We want you to have them and manage them just like the way you would uh, do that in any type of a work setting. Okay. Um, let me think. What else? Uh, if you are not feeling well on graduation day, I have to say this, okay? Just don't come, okay? It's not worth it. It is not worth it. So if you got any type of those COVID-19 symptoms, if you've been vaccinated, of course, that's a whole different scenario, but let's really do a great job of keeping each other safe and making sure everybody can go home safe. Okay, uh, we're Washingtonians and we are on the ready when it comes to the weather. I don't know what the weather's gonna do that day. I haven't looked that far ahead yet, so I'm getting ready for everything. It could be raining. You know, I have three kids myself. They've all graduated from high school. Two of them graduated in the heat. The one in the middle, he graduated in a torrential downpour and they had just as much fun. Um, hopefully, uh, you can dress for the weather and again, we're getting ready for warmth because that seems to have the most problems when it comes to keeping people hydrated. So we'll have plenty of water out there. 
Okay, this is our walking route. Once we get to that 550, 545 time, it's gonna be Mr. Bird instructing you. Um, when we're about halfway through the practice, you guys are gonna follow this route. We're gonna be a single file line, all 350 to 400 of us. And then when you get to the north end of the home side of the stadium, I imagine our single file line is gonna go all the way back because we've got to stay socially distanced. And then at about six o'clock, 6.05, we'll start the processional music and you guys will start to walk in exactly the way Mr. Burt will describe it at our practice, okay? And we'll, get, we'll help you out. You're gonna look great. Okay, this is the way the field is set up over at the football field. Yeah, probably too much information, but you just know you're either gonna be sitting in the Northeast, Southeast, Northwest, Southwest, and your four guests, parents, friends, guardians, family, they're gonna be sitting in the adjacent sections, okay? So that's the way it's gonna work. We're gonna have some, some really cool big screens put up at each end of the field. Your special moment when your name's being called during roll call as you come up to pick up your diploma cover. Yeah, you don't get the real diploma until July. Uh, your diploma cover and your picture taken, that'll all happen on that stage, which is that yellow rectangle there. Um, you will come up the middle and you'll walk out the sides. So let's just pretend you're sitting in the southwest section. Let's pretend you're sitting in about the seventh row and you'll be walking up this way. There's gonna be a ramp. You'll get your diploma cover handed to you. You'll start walking off a ramp over here. They'll take your picture. There'll be video of you and you'll be able to walk right back down to the seventh and go back and then have a seat, okay? So that's kind of generally how it's gonna work. The roll call piece where all your names are being called one at a time, that does take a little bit of time. Okay, again, more information than you need. Back of the ticketing, make sure when you get your tickets, they're all the same, okay? And this is what we're gunning for right here. We're working for this, to that magical moment. We will do a hat toss. We will do it at the south end of our stadium near the football end zone closest to our school because we're all gonna be set out in the middle of the field. This is from two years ago, maybe three years ago, okay? We're gonna make sure you can sit by your, your graduation partners in each of your sections. You'll get to walk with them. One will be in front, one will be in back. A Couple of you guys put more than one name down. You got three of you, and we'll try to put you in the same section, okay? That should all happen in Miss Skill's office when you're picking up your tickets, okay? So make sure you compare with each other. And if it looks like you don't have the same tickets, bring your four tickets back and tell us what section you need to have. We stop giving out tickets on the 18th, okay? So those are things you got to help us out with. Okay, main things, be on time. Be to the baseball field by 4.30. You can show up a little bit early if you need to. Bring all of that right stuff, okay? If you don't know what the right stuff, go backwards in this video. Plus there's a one pager on this email too. You can check the one pager. Be 100% present. There's gonna be some information given to you. We're gonna to try to use the KISS principle. KISS is an acronym for keep it simply simple, okay? We're gonna keep the information as simple as we can. Um, not that you guys aren't geniuses and smart, but we know it's a big day. There's a lot on your mind. We're gonna to try to keep our practice really simple, really to the point so that you guys can just rock it. Lastly, enjoy the moment, you guys. This is what you guys have been waiting for since preschool, since kindergarten and uh, you are the right class. So enjoy the moment. And if you, of course, if you have any questions of me, just email me, okay? And uh, we will start the official countdown the week of the 21st, or the week of the 19th. And uh, remember, you got senior finals, make sure you crush it there. If you've got some low grades, make sure you're talking to your teachers, uh, find out everything you need to do. And uh, we do have one more senior boot camp this coming Saturday. If you have a low grade and you just can't figure out when to find time to do it, we got three hours supported by teachers if needed. And we'll start at 9 a.m. in the morning this coming Friday or this coming Saturday, June 12th. If that's something you want to do, just enter through the main doors of the school on Main Street, go through the attendance office, and we're holding it up in the library. Okay, guys, that's all I got for right now. Thanks for all you've been doing this year, and we're going to get there before you know it. Thank you.